Let's look at some extra work that includes working with negative exponents. If you're asked to simplify something like this, remember you just need to work with each of the bits individually. So first let's just do 12 divided by 3 and that gets me the answer of 4. Now we're going to deal with the a's. So with the a's you've got a to the 8 and it's divided by a to the 10. So in terms of simply writing using the rule for division it's going to be a to the 8 minus 10 and then we move on to deal with the b's. You've got b to the 11 at the top and b to the 2 at the bottom so it's going to be b to the 11 subtract 2 and so that is going to be like that. Sometimes they like to ask you to write this with um, positive exponents only, so to give your answer with positive exponents only, in which case you'll leave the 4 where it is, you'll leave the b to the 9 where it is because those have got positive exponents, but you'll know that a to the minus 2 simply means 1 over a to the 2, so it will go to the bottom. And just notice you could have seen that right from here. You've got a to the 8 at the top and a to the 10 at the bottom. So you've got 8 a's multiplied together at the top and 10 of them multiplied together at the bottom. So 8 of these ones at the bottom will cancel with the 8 at the top and you're left with 2 a's multiplied together at the bottom, which is where that a squared comes from. Okay, how about a revolting one like this one? Well, it's, again, easy enough. If we look at the numbers, we've got a 3 at the top and a 6 at the bottom. So we can go ahead and do a bit of cancelling there. You'll have divide by 3 gives you 1, and divide by 3 here gives you 2. So what you've got in terms of numbers is 1 over 2. Now let's have a look at our p's. We've got p to the negative 3 at the top and p to the negative 6 at the bottom. So we can use our rule for division. It's going to be p to the negative 3. And then you've got to subtract what's at the bottom. Now we just need to sort that out. And that's going to be p to the negative 3 plus 6. And so what we're going to get is p to the power of 3. Okay, I want you to try these two for yourself. You're being asked to simplify them and then write them for the answer with positive exponents. Pause the video and try it now. Okay, let's deal with the first one. First, we multiply the numbers together. 5 times 2 is 10. Then we deal with the x's. We're multiplying, so we're going to add the exponents. So that's x to the 1. So we're going to have 1 plus negative 4. And then we're going to have y negative 3 plus 2. So we get 10. Um, x, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And they've asked us to write them with positive exponents. So the 10 just stays a 10. But x the negative 3 it becomes x cubed in the denominator and y to the negative 1 means y needs to go to the denominator. It'll be y to the 1, but we know y to the 1 is just y. Okay, this next one, if we do it the long way around, what I have is p to the negative 2 divided by q to the negative 3, which means I've got 1 over p squared divided by 1 over q cubed. And I know that with fractions, I turn that into a multiplication and then I flip this so it becomes multiplied by q cubed over 1, which becomes q cubed over p squared. But hopefully, as you get faster and faster with this, you will just be able to recognize that this negative means it simply needs to come down to the bottom and become positive and the negative when it's in the denominator will simply result in it going up and becoming positive.
That's the shortcut.